Good day, welcome to Vaughn TV. I'm Michael G. Bunny Tadavos, and today we're filming episode six. We got two special guests, Frank from Jaguar, Oris from Hotwire. Guys, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Now, guys, we're going to talk about recessed lighting today, and many of you know it as pot lights or down lights. Okay, we got low voltage, we got line voltage. We're going to get into the whole thing today. Um, a little thing about pot lights. What's your, what's your stance on pot lights or recessed lighting? In terms of like in terms of it bringing more value to a home, the cosmetic appeal, the elegance. Well, I mean, you said it all. Basically, it brings more value to the home, more appeal, and I mean, it's better lighting. I like the sheen, the sheen look it gives you in ceilings. Yeah, it's a clean, 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 clean yeah, yeah. flush yeah. look in the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, many of our trims are 35 degrees uh, swivelable, so you can actually adjust the light if you have uh, art painting on the wall or right. in your kitchen. You want to really focus that beam somewhere, That's right? Cool. Now, line voltage, low voltage. Let's start with line voltage. I know Oris is a big fan of line voltage. Frank's, but he's neutral, but he likes low voltage. He likes line voltage. He's staying neutral. Oris is a line voltage fan. <laughs> We're not going to get into a whole debate today, but let's just talk about these pot lights, the quality first. Now, a lot of people come to us, and I'm sure you guys get it. Yeah. What's the difference between going to a big box store and coming and buying a pot light from an electrical distributor? You know, the quality, the fit. Yep. What's the difference? Let's get into it. Well, take it? We, yeah, we can. Let's start with uh, okay, so hardware. Okay. Yeah. Hardware. The way these ones are manufactured in regards to the box store, hardware is it's more stir, it's durable. Mm -hmm. In regards to the box store, uh, junction boxes. A lot of the box, the big box store that sell you those packs of six. Yeah. Have, okay, those packs of six that many many that, are familiar yeah, with. You yeah. can get it for sixty dollars so for yeah. six, yeah. and or sometimes on special for forty dollars. Okay. Whatever the case may be, yeah. junction boxes are a lot of times on top of the mm -hmm. the fixture, the, uh, on top the of housing. the actual uh, the housing. Okay, so what's the advantage of having the junction box? Heat. 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 Yep. There's a reason why it's spaced so far away from that actual housing, which makes the bulbs last longer as well. Yep. Right. Yep. You're not yep. changing bulbs. Yep. yep. You know, I have issues where I've been on uh, job sites where I pull apart the junction box on top of those uh, fixtures and literally the insulation on the wires are burnt off because it's, it's so hot. Those because guys, it's all compressed uh, yep, and uh, you got all that heat, the bulb burns out yep, and it's burning the wires. Yep. Yep. And I, I have uh, situations where some of the, the big box stores where I bought their fixtures, it, it doesn't have a thermostat on the fixtures. So the, the bulbs just stay on until they burn out. Whereas yeah. in- but With these, they have the heat sink. So right. if it gets too hot in there, it'll automatically yep. shut, it'll shut yep. off the bulb. So you know, it'll cool off, yep. then the bulb will come back on. Okay, application for this. So many of you are looking at this, you're going, okay, what is this? This is a retrofit. Application, main floor, basement. Yep, yep. Okay. Anywhere there's no insulation. And the bracket. What, what do you guys like about the bracket? Huh. Just, to, just to zoom in on that bracket. Just look at it. It's easy to use. It's, yeah. it's user friendly. It's uh, as opposed to the big box stores, when you buy a product from that store, it comes in so many pieces that it's almost. Well, I've been to many houses and you see the trim will be like, oh yeah, yeah. it, that, it doesn't have that flush what, feel because the, biggest, the brackets, it doesn't hold properly yep, to the that's ceiling. That's one of the biggest downfall with, the, with those products. You know, customer call you up, you know, we want to use our own pot lights. And uh, the moment they mentioned like a big box store to me with the product, I right away tell them the, the, the issues that they're going to have. One, the trim, as the moment they buy it within six months, the white is going to be yellow. Discoloration. Yep. Yeah. The, the second thing is they're going to be calling me with, with the trim. My trims keep falling down. That's the biggest, two of the biggest yeah. issues I have with, with the big box. Where with with these, you have a nice fit, where, yep. nice clip. It holds yep. to the ceiling nice. Where they clip from the top. A lot of the, a lot of the box, store, box stores have uh, the light bulbs that get clipped in from the yeah, so, so, so he's saying they have that little ring that yeah, you can yeah, take the ball back. And you yeah. see it, it, it looks yeah. Yeah. it looks. But it doesn't have that clean finish. No. Yeah. And yeah. in regards to these ones here, they are baked on, the finish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those ones are just painted on. And yeah. that's one of the reasons why they turn yellow. Higher heat temperature, it doesn't turn yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next one. We got an insulated box. Set, second floor application where you got insulation. Mm -hmm. um, what do you guys like about this one? It's petite. Yeah. And it's approved which is, is fantastic. The, you get into all the little spots that you needed to get into. That's the key word. Yeah, this seems to be a, a great seller. Right, it is. Um, you know, it's same for thing. your average guy, it's the same same, same thing. With junction box. Junction, yep. yep. It has the, the right size junction box for the, for the application. And the beautiful thing about these fixtures is that like, you, know, you, you won't get anywhere else. You'll notice like the connection on these. Quick disconnects. Quick, yep. yeah. So quick for, for any application, this, this is perfect. Uh, to use as far as wiring goes. Yeah, it's nice and clean. It is. Uh, and one of the benefits for, for you guys, from what I hear, it takes, it's much easier to install, less time installing basically, mm -hmm. yes. right? Yes, yes. Yep. 
Okay. Now, just out of curiosity, you guys space your pot lights because this is a base. Some people walk in and they wanted to space it every two feet. Some people space it every four feet. What do you guys recommend in terms of spacing your pot lights? On, go ahead. Well, uh, that's, that's a tough one because, you know, like a lot of times we, we do custom homes. So we usually have like a designer that's involved. But if you're doing it for, you know, an individual and then... Uh, yeah, you, ge you a general like, rule of thumb. Uh, anywhere from uh, four feet. On an eight-foot ceiling. On an eight-foot ceiling. On an eight-foot ceiling, yeah. okay. Nine, nine feet, you can keep on bumping it up uh, a foot. So let's say, for instance, eight foot, spaced out four feet, yeah. no more than two, two feet, two and a half feet out from the wall. Mm -hmm. right. And four from there four on. Center. Okay. Uh, nine feet, same thing, rule of thumb uh, off the wall, and five feet apart. Ten, you can do five and a half, six feet. But then you yeah. got to be careful you know, cause because it just starts dissipating. as, as Yeah, exactly. You don't have that intensity. You, know, yeah. you, don't dry, you don't want any dry, you don't want any dark spots. At the yeah. same time, you want the beam to, to give you that, uh, the overlap. extra flex. Exactly. exactly, the overlap. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go into low voltage. I don't want to confuse anybody. Line voltage is a 120 volt screw-in type of bulb, right? This is the bulb right here, okay? Mm -hmm. So it looks like a low voltage, Yep. right? But now let's talk about low voltage now. Okay, who wants to start? With Actually, you know, let, let's, uh, let's have Frank start because you, yeah. you're you want, Okay, voltage. on regards to what, low, low voltage? What's your stance on low voltage? What, well, what's the benefit? People are looking at this line voltage, it's an awesome seller, oh, it works it, great. It's very good. It becomes personal preference mm -hmm. when it comes to low voltage and line voltage. Line, uh, the, line, the low voltage obviously has this 12 volt transformer. Yeah, okay, so, let, let's zoom in on that. That's a transformer. Yep. That, that, re that reduces the voltage the down line voltage to not have that. 12 volts. Okay, so you're going right. 120 to 12 volts. 12 volts, but your, your, your bulb is always a 50 watt bulb, mm -hmm. 35 watt bulb, same concept here. So 50. energy wise, let's just, let's just cut the myth when people think they're saving energy or something. If you're using a 50 watt bulb in low voltage, you're using a 50 watt bulb yeah. in line voltage, 50 watts is 50 watts. Yeah. Okay. You may get a brighter white light out of uh, out of the low voltage reason being because of the resistance that you're that you're uh, increasing mm -hmm. on the because if you're if you're reducing the voltage you're increasing something so resistance is obviously increasing. So you're getting a longer lamp life. You, you do get a longer lamp life. Yeah. Where Oris will probably debate on that, but we won't we won't get there. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we won't okay? get into that. Right? And at the same time, bulbs are really really difficult to guarantee and say yeah. these bulbs are actually gonna add, are gonna last you. 5,000, 6,000 hours. Right. Because on a, lot of, a lot of times they're tested on a normal, normal, normal use of four hours. Yeah. Yeah. So some people have them on six, seven hours. You start, it starts dissipating from then. But a general rule of thumb, low voltage will last longer than line voltage. Can we, can we agree on that? Uh, I, I will agree. Or it's just nod your head. Right. You know, we're, we're going to say <laughs> on a general rule of thumb, yeah. that, that's where we're going to yeah. go. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, you'll, you'll get a longer life uh, out of the bulbs. We'll leave it at that. And a better crisp beam. Like if you notice the actual it's optics in a low voltage bulb compared to a, a line voltage. It, the yeah, line voltage come a long way, the yeah. line voltage, yeah. on regards to the yellowy, uh, yellow halogen look. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you had to put them side by side, and uh, Oris, please be quiet for a second. <laughs> if you had to put them side by side, uh, Personally, I see a, a, a whiter, a whiter beam out of the low voltage. Yeah. I feel like we're holding him back. Yeah. yeah, he just wants to explode. I mean, you know, we don't have enough time. For, uh, for <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. So, um, last one, insulated. Now that's an insulated box, low yes. voltage. Yes. Again, second floor. We have insulation. Um, what's your stance on that? Can you also pull that out just to show yes, the of advantage course. of that system? So, I mean, just to touch on it, it's the same idea. Mm -hmm as uh, this IC fixture, right? It's for insulated ceilings. And um, if you notice, this is the line voltage version of this. Mm -hmm. um, again, this is a low voltage version. It comes into two pieces as opposed to this where, you know, it has a housing and everything built well, in. Well, yeah, with line voltage, there's not much that can go wrong. That's right. With low right? voltage, so, your transformer could go. That's yeah. right. Which, which is, is a, nice. which is a, s a smart thing of what they've done here. Because yeah. uh, back in the day, before, let's even go back five years ago, the transformer used to be situated inside the actual. Yeah, mounted in the. So, uh, you know, you can't. It's hard to say that the transformers are going to last your lifetime. Yeah. And if they were to go, you'd have to put your. You'd hand have to in the actually can. get in there yeah. to Where try now to replace it. Now they got the distance, and you can yeah. actually. And a lot of times, a lot of contractors. I'm not saying myself or Oris. No. Uh, they would just dump the transformers in there, and yeah. it's not even mounted properly the way they're supposed to be yeah. mounted. And right. you'll get Again. vibration too. Exactly. Yeah. Where if you notice that little black yeah, pad, you've got, you've that's got a vibration pad. Yeah, yeah. So that insulate that insulates it. Yeah. Because there's that myth that people have that low voltage hum. Yes. Now I know Oris is smiling here. Yeah. But that's the whole point of that vibration yeah, pad. So I mean, you don't get again, that. Yeah. At the end sound. of the day, you know, as manufacturers, they they all learn from their mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. in, in the past, you know, you you can literally 
know the difference between where, where they're coming from and where they were. Yeah. You know, they, they've come a long way where you put in a, a product now and uh, what, what you're looking for is that noise, not noisy humming, you don't get that anymore. Well, that's they, right. Lifetime warranty. Uh, lifetime warranty on the pot lights, yep. lifetime warranty on the transformer. Yep. So yeah, you get that peace of mind. If you go line voltage or low voltage, yep. you're getting a peace of mind. They're both quality systems, yes. um, far superior wrong, to the ones we that's right. Going back about. to the box stores on regards to their IC pot lights, mm -hmm. which is insula for insulated yep. ceilings, that's what the IC stands for. Um, they are in two pieces, yep. a lot of them. You have to actually buy the house. They sell you those packs of six. Yeah. Yep that you've got a retrofit like this, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, they will ha you'll have to buy an IC pot light like this, which is just a, 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 just a, a can. can. Yeah. Right. And you have to position the can on top of there, and then later retrofit this guy inside there. Yeah. Yes. And so, I mean, a lot of, uh, again, a lot of customers, they, they buy half the product and they think, you know, well, you know, I got my own pot lights. They and think they're getting a deal. They're getting a deal. Yeah. So when you go to a site and then you approach them and say, well, you have half, now you gotta go back to the store. And buy the buy rest. The other, the other yeah. half. Then you gotta buy the boot. Yeah. Then you gotta buy the trim. So, so you originally start off like you're getting a deal, yeah. but by the time it end, works out to it, yeah. you gotta buy all these pieces above, to make a pot like where these above. already come complete. Yeah, but at the same time, behind the counter, let's say uh, at the box stores, there's really no one there to actually guide you to no. say, no, you need this, this for an insulated this, ceiling. This, yeah. So a lot of these do-it-yourselfers, what they're doing is they're buying these six packs or whatever the case may be mm -hmm. and sticking them and then just drilling a hole yep. and, and just- Oh, dumping them in there. So many, so many of them. I and mean, they, don't, they, don't know, uh, they don't know what the harm they're causing to themselves yeah. oh, by doing that. Yeah, there's fire hazards, there's a whole oh, bunch there's of There's that, there's condensation. Yep. At the end of the day, you're, you're paying... Uh, well, you got all that heat in the ceiling now. Oh, the heat in the ceiling. Yes. So the, the, different, yeah. the different heat from the, let's say for instance, uh, the attic space yeah. to your actual uh, space inside the actual home, those two, and you get condensation. So at yeah. the end of the day, they're uh, getting a shower light for free. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're doing more harm than good. Yeah, because you yeah. just start dripping. You get a phone call saying, hey, uh, yeah. I got some uh, water coming from the from the pot lights. I wonder why. <laughs> and that's the reason. They'll just move their insulation yeah. out of the way. We see it all. And just we put one of those, all. not specific this one, but those, because they don't have the proper guidance of someone yeah. behind the counter yeah. to tell them, this is what yeah. you need. This yeah. is exactly. Or a proper certified. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, also, I want to show everyone the many trim options, colors. So there you have it. We had a huge debate today. Well, what is it? it wasn't even a debate, a conversation oh, we conversation, had. Conversation, yeah. Right, but this could go on for hours, right? The That's difference right. between line voltage and low voltage. We'll make at, the, sure. at the end of the day, there's no right or wrong. Can we all agree? No, you're right. Right? right? Agreed. Line voltage, I would say, great for jobs that you know, require a budget. Mm -hmm. Low voltage is great for custom homes. Yep. Right? Higher end homes. Higher end homes. People with uh, you know, a little bit more money to work with. Exactly. Because they are a little, a little more expensive, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a, well, you're, you're, getting, you're getting a transformer, right? Of so you're course, paying, yes. You're paying for that difference. All the products come with a lifetime year warranty. Now, one thing I want to end off on, LED. Can we just zoom in on there? Okay. It is the wave of the future, but I would tell everyone to hold off at least six months to a year still. These LEDs are compatible with all our pot lights. The only reason I say to hold off, right now an LED is going for what? $35, $40, yep. right? And if you go dimmable, $45 to $50, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. People are spending their hard-earned dollar on this, right? They're thinking they're saving energy, but for, the, for what you're paying, you're paying $40 for a bulb. It's consuming seven watts, but a little fact here of the day, Mike's fact of the day, a dimmer. I think people really undervalue the importance of a dimmer. Yep. Now, if you were to dim, a quality dimmer, if you were to dim it half, you're saving 50% of the energy. So if you have a 50-watt bulb, you're bringing it down to 25 watts you're using, right? Mm -hmm. And you're also extending the lamp life. So you know what? For 30 bucks for a dimmer, you, and you can control what? Up to how many dimmers can, Dep how many polys can you put on It depends on the size, size of the dimmer. Of the dimmer. Let's yeah. just say for argument's sake, 10, yep. based on a 600 watt dimmer, yep. right? So you're saving half the energy when you dim, you're extending the lamp life, and the most important thing you're doing with lighting, you're setting that mood, right? You're creating yep. the ambience, yes. right? Which is the whole point of lighting for, in the first place, right? Um, guys, once again, thanks for coming. I'm going to link you guys up. I'm Michael G. Bonitaribus, introducing you to the world of electrical distributors.